One of yes. the things that I wanted to mention here is Amtrak. And I know that a lot of people haven't taken Amtrak, but when I was in college, actually going from Chicago back to Detroit to see my family, Amtrak was something I used a lot because I wouldn't call it super reliable on time. Sometimes it leaves exactly on time. Sometimes you have a couple hour delay. It's a little bit like an airline. But the nice thing about it is there wasn't security. You just get on. It cruises, you get some big seats. And one of the things that I wanted to bring up here, and I don't know if they did it everywhere or if it's still in process, but a couple of years ago on the Amtrak lines, at least the ones that leave out of Chicago, they replaced all of the passenger cars with these new Siemens cars. And they are much nicer. So the original Amtrak cars that I went on in college were the same ones that you rode on up to a couple of years ago, and they were looking pretty tired. Carpets, seats, everything was just aged you know it worked and you still get a lot of space but what they have done is they have replaced those cars and so everything now is newer fresher the seats are still wide and luxurious it's all the application of technology that makes there more space for people and brings down the cost and just it's brighter and cleaner and nice and what i would say is that even if you get a coach seat on an Amtrak train, it probably roughly the equivalent in size and pitch and leg room as a first class seat on an airplane. And then usually if they have space, there's usually one car at the head of the train that is a business class car. They don't call them first class. And then depending on how long it is, they'll have some sleeper cars and stuff like that. But for most of the routes here, if you go from Chicago to St. Louis to Chicago, to Detroit, they don't have sleeper cars. But in the business class car, Instead of having two seats on either side, two by two, it's usually one by two. And so the seats are even larger. They're probably a little overkill, but if you really wanted to stretch out, have a seat by yourself if you're traveling alone, which I did sometimes, or if you're traveling with someone, you just have so much room. Usually you have some free snacks and drinks available to you at the snack car. The seats are usually a little nicer, a little plusher, deeper leather, those types of things. And it's can be a good way. Now, I will say that depending on the amount of travel and the time, they can get very expensive, like an airplane ticket. But especially if you are, again, traveling midweek to somewhere else, the tickets can honestly be somewhere in the $25, $35 range, you know, because they're oh, trying wow. to fill some seats. And yeah. Especially if you're moving a large family, it could be slower. You could take Amtrak from here down to Florida. That is going to be probably, I don't know, 25 hours in duration or something, but it could be an adventure. I've actually taken the Amtrak from Detroit down to New Mexico once, and that took a long time, but it was an adventure. You get to see a lot of America that you don't normally get to see. And the cost savings there might be really the intriguing part. And like I said, the elevation of the yeah. experience and the accommodations, I think, are what makes it more interesting these days.